여러분 안녕하세요. Hi everyone and welcome back to this new Jolaku video. And today I want to introduce you to one of the most important ingredients in Korean cuisine, which is mechu. Mechu is a brick of dry fermented soybean, and it serves as the basis of Korean traditional food such as doenjang, ganjang, gochujang. In the old days, people used to do their mechu at home. So actually, if you are walking around the Sunchan Gochujang village, you can still see a lot of uh, mechu drying in front of people's door. But nowadays, the most easy way for you to buy mechu is online or with home shopping. So this is why today I'm really excited to introduce you to our Sunchang Mechu factory. I will show you all the different process, and you will understand more how we are producing mechu in Sunchang. Are you guys ready? Go, go, Jola, go, let's go! You have two types of mechu. The first one is the gochujang mechu that we are making with fermented soybean mixed with rice, barley, or wheat. And then the second mechu is the ganjang duenjang mechu that we are producing 100% with sunchang fermented soybean. Now the part you are all waiting for. I'm gonna enter in the mechu factory and I will show you all the different process how we are making our mechu. degrees in order to start the fermentation process. factory we are producing about 7,000 mechu per day and in one room like this you have about 14,000 mechu and we have seven rooms so can you guess how many mechu we have in the factory <laughs> So I hope you guys enjoyed visiting the factory with me. Now we're gonna go to my house and I will show you how you can make your own traditional Korean sauce using our mechu. So guys, I just arrived home and actually in my building I have a kitchen so we can cook and prepare anything we want. And I just got the package. So I will show you when you order some mechu from Sunchang which ingredients you can get in this box. So I'm gonna open the box and I will show you as well which ingredients you can find in that box. Are you ready? Yeah! You have... Wow, that's gonna be super heavy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I say so. Okay, okay. Okay! So it's really important for you to get the Sunchang water because as you can see we have our special really clean and pure water in Sunchang and then we get our box. 
So when you open, as you can see, you have the instruction paper. So it will show you all the different steps, one by one, what you should put the ingredients. And as well, you can see like here, it shows you the quality because, you know, Suncheon, Meiju and ingredients are really good all around Korea. So they got some certification to show you that this is the best quality you can get. And then inside you have all the different ingredients. So you can see you have some charcoal, you have the dried red pepper like this. And then you have the salt from Shinan because Shinan is really famous in Korea for its solar salt. So it's really good for you to use this type of salt. And then finally, as you can see here, we have Meiju. And we're gonna mix it all together with our Suncheong water. Now we are gonna make our own sauce. So first of all, we need 10 liters of water. All the water is clean and now we're gonna add our salt. And we need to wait a little bit and the salt is just soaking into the water. I look like a master, yay! <laughs> it's gonna take some time, guys. <laughs> I just finished to mix the water and salt together and we're gonna pour this into the box. Are you guys ready? So let's do it. Oh no! Oh, this, okay, okay, that's too heavy guys. So I got another one. I got this, yes! And this is the end. Yes, tada! And can you see, guys? This is full actually. And you can see you have the meju and the salty water together. Now we're gonna add the dried red pepper and the charcoal. Put this on the top. <laughs> so the final touch is you need to cover everything and wait for about two months and in two months you will be able to test your own ganja your own soy sauce uh, but if you want to try the denchang, you need to wait a little bit more. The water will change its color and it will become salty. And with all the fermentation process, it becomes soy sauce. But then if you need duenjang, the duenjang paste takes a little bit more time. You need to wait a little bit more. And then you just mix it all together with the meju and that will make the duenjang. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, activate the little bell, and I see you soon in a new Chalaco video. Annyeong!